Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My track guide for the Formula V going around circuit the Lidenum. It's really fun, let's get into it. For turn 1 you want to be all the way on the right and turn in when the wall on the right ends. I keep full throttle to just before the second turn. So right about here, here I just go off the throttle and pretty much letting the car roll all the way to the outside for turn 3. You want to stabilize the car with either the brake or the throttle. And we want to track out, as I said, all the way out to the outside curve for turn 3. We do that to open up a lot more, to carry more speed through turn 3 and 4. The aim is to cut as much as you can of the inside curb of turn 3. Once you are on that curb for turn 3, you should be able to go full throttle if you have the line right. You can use some of the curb on the inside for turn 4. Now bring the car over to the left. You want to be placing about half of the car outside of the white line for turn 5. My braking marker for turn 5 is this bush here on the right. Once I start to lose that out of my FOV, I will go on the brake and I'll hit a peak of about 80% brake pressure with easing that off all the way to the inside curb. I apex just before the middle of the corner and when I'm at the curb, I'm going full throttle again and we can do that because the exit is going uphill so we have more grip available to us. Use all of the room that you find necessary and bring the car over to the right for turn 6. Same story, bring about half car outside the white line. For turn 6, I don't have a clear braking marker for you but this is where I start to brake. If you can find one that helps you, write it in the comments down below. When I start to brake, I go to about 70% brake pressure, with easing that off all the way to the curb on the inside. The curb on the inside is flat, so I use it. Once I'm at that curb on the inside, I'll go full throttle again, and then we'll have to use all of the available room on the outside. Just keep one set of tires on the white line. Turn 7 is of course full throttle all the way through, just cut the curb. And turn 8 of course is also full throttle. Turn 8 you want to track out to the outside of the red and white curb for turn 9. For turn 9 I brake just before I get to the drain here. Just before I get to the drain I will brake. And here I will go to about 65% brake pressure. With easing that off all the way to the inside curb. Once at the curb on the inside you want to go full throttle again. Again we are going uphill so the car will turn more. Because we have more grip available to us. And of course use all of the room you need. Now I bring the car out to about mid track. Turn 10 is blind and you'll see me wiggle a bit here because I, I turn in too early. It doesn't matter, just get close to the curb and get on the outside curb for turn 11. I try and brake when I leave this part of the curb here. Once I'm braking I go to about 75% brake pressure. For this one I didn't brake hard enough in the beginning so I had to add more pressure. You want to be easing off the brake all the way to the inside curb where you want to be going on the throttle again. I prefer this late entry but that will only work in qualifying. If you're fighting someone in the race they will be able to send it up on the inside. I felt like if you're lapping alone or in qualifying, this was the quickest way around the corner. Once we are full throttle, you should be able to go full throttle for turn 12 and 13 as well. And we're going downhill here. Now it's all about setting up for the only long straight we have, which is the exit out of turn 14. Braking for this one is a little bit funny. If you hit the green anti-cut on the inside, you won't be able to brake as hard in the beginning, so you will have to do like a two-step braking process. I go to about 60% brake pressure for the first part. We want to be braking when we get to the red and white curb just in front of us. And as I said, I go to about 60% brake pressure for the first one. And then we are off the green curb. I go to about 80% brake pressure with easing that off all the way to the inside curb. Once at the curb on the inside, then I go full throttle again. And then I use as much room as I need on the outside, which is just keeping one set of tires on the white line. If you go any further out, you'll get a 1x. And of course, turn 15 is flat out. And now it's a drag race all the way to the line. And that's my lap around Circuit de Lidenum in the Formula V. I have more track guides for the Formula V linked down below. And the time was a 136.897. Hopefully this little guide has helped you. If it has, leave a like down below. Consider subscribing as well. And now for the uninterrupted hot laps.